Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro, YU Bhima code name, and today we are talking about a brand new ROM. Now remember, this is a, probably the first time I'm bringing this ROM to this particular channel and I am trying it for the first time. So I've not used it. This is the first impressions video in which we will see what is the change log, what are the features, and we will have a quick look at the benchmark numbers as well. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Styx Project 1.8 Unofficial Android 11. It was released on the 19th of September 2021. Now under notes and device change log, it says initial build, SE Linux status is enforcing, safety net doesn't pass out of the box, you use Majisk Hide. So remember, this is unofficial and you need to use Majisk Hide. G apps already included, recommended firmware is 12.5.4 global over here. You do have your screenshot and support chat and stuff like that. So. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, you're greeted with a very, very clean UI and a beautiful wallpaper. Now let's have a look at the launcher first. You do get a very, very basic launcher over here. So no major changes there. The quick tiles are pretty basic as well. As you can see over here, no major customization, no major changes and very, very few options. So this looks like more like a, you know, a minimalistic ROM, which doesn't have a lot of features or customization. One thing that I did find quite annoying though, was that this auto brightness button is where the settings button should be. Nonetheless, that's okay. I think it's an official and if they ever come up with the official version, things will improve for sure. So if you go to about phone and if you go to the Android version, you will see that it's a Styx version 1.8. This is a device maintainer. The kernel version is Arrow. So they are basically using arrow kernel and in my experience the rom has been running pretty smooth not too bad not too great you can definitely use it as a daily driver and the good thing is it does come with google camera go so your camera duties are taken care of and remember this is a very very bare bones rom it doesn't really have a lot of applications and that is the reason it might perform even better so let's go ahead and have a look at some features that you might have in settings over here so just like some other custom ROMs, you don't really have a dedicated customization menu. Now this goes in line with what I said earlier that this particular ROM is, you know, maybe targeted towards simplicity like pixel experience, not a lot of options. So if you go to network and internet, you have your basic Wi-Fi settings just as you have them in Android 11, no major changes there. Traffic indicator. So you do have some customization here. You can go ahead and enable the traffic indicator and customize that. And if you go to advanced, you have hotspot and all the other options. Moving on, you have connected devices in which you have usual stuff. Under battery, you do have thermal profiles. So that is something really, really neat, but you don't really have the gaming mode and you do have details like, you know, screen on time and all the basic things. You can customize the battery percentage from the battery menu itself. So pretty neat there. Now, if you look at the display menu, you do have dark theme, screen timeout, boosted colors, minimum maximum refresh rate toggle, and that's about it. No major customization here as well. Under sound, you do have all the advanced options, but you have clear speaker and direct sound enhancer as well. So you can go ahead and use those features if you wish to. But the main thing that happens is in security, you do have fingerprint and face lock. You don't really have app lock. So again, you know, not advanced level of customization or features. And under system, you do have gestures, which has, you know, system navigation, three finger screenshot, advanced power menu. So some options are available, but you know, that's pretty much it. If you look for anything else, you will not find anything much. Under interactive, you do have some vibrant wallpapers and over here, styles and wallpapers, you do have your customization just like Android 11 custom ROMs. So all in all, what I see over here, and as I said earlier, Spike OS is unofficial right now and it comes with very, very minimalistic, very, very basic features. So 
if you're someone who wants to try something new and that doesn't confuse you with a ton of features you can definitely go ahead and try it now let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers as you can see over here pretty decent score 181 206 gips and cpu throttle to 91 percent of its max performance so not too bad not too great and let's have a look at the Geekbench run of this particular ROM. 753 single core, 2721 multi core. So decent score there as well. And what about N22 benchmark? So 547,847. A little low there, but all in all, the benchmark numbers are pretty decent. I've not had any major concerns or, you know, major. Uh, force close errors or random reboots or anything of that sort. The charging speed has been pretty decent. The standby battery times have been okay. I'm just sharing the experience as much as I have used. So Stikes OS or Stikes project looks pretty decent. You can definitely go ahead and give it a try. And let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this ROM? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.